If my man smelled like this, I I wouldn't be mad at it. Hey guys, what's good? It's Brittany and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing my latest fragrance purchase, which is the Chanel Gabrielle. Before we get into this video, I hope you guys are having an amazing Wednesday. With everything going on right now, I just want you all to know that YouTube has been an outlet for me, so I greatly appreciate the opportunity that I have to even like be healthy, safe, in an environment where I can express my creativity. I know that what we discuss on my channel isn't like a serious topic. I will say that I hope when you watch my videos that this is somehow a chance for you to relax, um, a chance for you to just kind of unwind. You never know what someone is going through behind the scenes and that works both ways. Like you guys, of course, don't know what I'm going through. I don't know what you guys are going through. So let's give ourselves some grace. Let's give each other some grace. Let's be kind. Just be good people to each other because honestly, that is what the world needs right now. So yes, if you are new here, I post videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And my channel is all about luxury, fashion, and a little bit of lifestyle. I am excited to say that I will, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I will be incorporating some type of vlog content. Um, it might start off just being monthly, or I might, do it once like every two weeks I don't know let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a little bit more of like my day-to-day -day life um, me my son of course um, yes let me know in the comments uh, what you guys would like to see vlog wise or just any content in general but yes you clicked on this video for the Chanel Gabrielle review so let's get to it all right so here she is in all her glory the Chanel Gabrielle essence the essence not the original so this is the flanker or like the i don't know what a flanker technically is like an accompaniment a slight variation of the chanel um gabrielle perfume so here on my channel my tagline is all about helping you all live a pretty good life and so to me fragrances go hand in hand with that i am not a fragrance connoisseur I just like to smell good. I like a fragrance to kind of put me in like a certain mood, a certain mindset. So let me tell you the type of girl that I want to be when I'm wearing this fragrance. I feel like I am sophisticated, slightly bougie. I feel like I got my together. I feel like I come off as unassuming, but there's just like that little bit of mystery there. But then there's also this like warm familiarity. I do have some notes here just because I do want a, you know, it's not a professional review, but I want it to be somewhat thorough. Now I did already unbox this fragrance on my channel, so I will link that um, up here somewhere. And also on that video, I give you my tips and tricks on how you can score lots. I mean, I got tons of free luxury perfumes, luxury skincare, and luxury makeup. But yes, in that video, I talked about some of the notes, but just to refresh your memory, um, I'm gonna give you the different notes that are found in this fragrance. And again, this is the Chanel Gabrielle Essence. So this has Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, and Grasse Tuberose. I do wanna go ahead and spray this fragrance y'all this fragrance is like yummy and then as it dries down it kind of settles and then mixes with your body chemistry so you kind of get this like different smell than what you smell initially um so initially i kind of get this citrusy musky floral scent and I do have uh, my notes here that I'm gonna be referring to. So yes, so that's what I get initially. Words that I would use to describe this fragrance are um, warm, sophisticated, and feminine. It's kind of unassuming at the beginning, but then the more it, it dries down, you get some different notes. To me, as it dries down, the more like musky it smells. It smells like this creamy, fruity, musky, delicious, 
a little sweet, a little sour, a little fruity, but a little dry. Definitely you can smell the white florals and it's just got this like, just the slightest like sharpness to it. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's good. It's, it's a modern Chanel scent. This is quite the controversial fragrance. A lot of like tried and true Chanel lovers feel like it doesn't quite match up to most Chanel scents. Um, me, I'm kind of newer to Chanel as of late. Like I said, I've tried it before in the past. It was a little too a lady for me. Um, but this, again, to me, this is a little bit more of a modern spin on classic Chanel. I think that they intended on bringing in people like me with this fragrance. And honestly, this is, in my opinion, a unisex scent. Like if my man smelled like this, I, I wouldn't be mad at it, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about wearability. Um, you can wear this pretty much any and everywhere. So when I think of the smell, I, it doesn't to me say flirty and it doesn't say sexy. So I don't know if I would um, wear this on like date night. Yeah, I think for a first date, I'd go for something a little bit more flirty. And then for subsequent dates, I definitely go for something a little more moody. Oud. Oud. Yeah, so this wouldn't be my favorite like date scent. And I probably wouldn't wear it like if I were going to do something active outdoorsy then I probably also wouldn't wear this just because it really doesn't last that long so I kind of feel like it would be a little bit of a waste so on how long it lasts so I've been wearing this pretty much every day and I have been keeping track like constantly like okay can I still smell it can I smell it can I smell it and so in my opinion this lasts about three hours after three hours you are going to need to reapply it so I would suggest maybe having like a little um, I think they're called like decanters or something like that. Or at least take something that you can layer on top of this that's going to complement this scent. So me personally, the way I make this scent last is I also bought the lotion. So I take some of the lotion and I actually take the per perfume and I spray it directly on the lotion. And then I go ahead, lotion up my neck, my decolletage, my hands, maybe my arms. And then I'll go back in and I'll make sure that I spray my skin and my clothes. So usually whenever I'm spraying, I'll do one spray here to kind of like get this area. And then I'll spray kind of on like either side of me. And if I'm just like really just that that day, then I'll kind of like spray it up in the air and just kind of like let it fall into my hair. And hair really picks up scents, so I really love doing that. All right, so the price. So for this size bottle, I paid $130. And do I think it's worth it? Yes and no. So a lot of people's issue with this perfume is that it doesn't last a long time and that it doesn't have much of a sillage. So that meaning like it doesn't give off a lot um, whenever someone's around you, basically. Like if you're walking past someone, if they smell it. I actually don't like that. Like I, I do want my fragrance to last a long time, but if, if I'm not just like, radiating this fragrance i'm okay with that like i'm okay with you getting it if you're a little bit closer in my space i don't necessarily want my perfume to introduce myself to you before you see me but if you like loud very noticeable perfumes this one might not be for you but i will give this a three out of five which in my opinion is good and the reason why i'm giving it a three out of five is because you do have to reapply it often, again, in my opinion. Um, I like scents that last a long time. And then I also give that score because this, in my opinion, it serves a purpose for me. Like the mood that I get when I, when I wear this fragrance is what I need right now, but I feel like just in general, um, I like more deeper, um, romantic, sexy scents. And this isn't that. So it's not like my my first pick when it comes to the style of perfume. So that's why I give it a three out of five. But yes, I absolutely love it. I can see this being a staple in my perfume collection. So yes, those are my thoughts on the Chanel Gabrielle fragrance. If you stayed this long um, in my video, I'm gonna do something new. Go ahead and comment a 
gold star and that way I'll be able to see who actually stays and watches my videos that'll be cool to see also let me know in the comments below what is your favorite fragrance yes let me know your favorite fragrance and that way as I'm building my perfume collection I'll be able to make a little shirt list also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe do not forget very important to hit the notification bell that way you know every Monday Wednesday and Friday when I post a new video as always remember to be good to yourself remember to be good to other people please it is so important guys just in this world, in this time, you never know what people are going through. And I will see you all on my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.